for me from the community. Donor agencies and NGOs implementing the U.S. President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, PREPFA, have tasked government to take over 1,600 contract health workers. This comes as the agency's policy has shifted from financing salaries and wages to investment impact. Lilian Moreko, the executive director of the international community living with the HIV Eastern Africa, says the main issue to consider should not be the money paid to the health workers, but the benefits of having a healthy society. What we are saying is that we need human resource. We have a gap as a country, and that is not acceptable. And therefore, we cannot lose even a single health worker that we already have with us. Godfrey Bagua, the senior human resource officer, Minister of Health, says absorption of the health workers may not be possible because some of their positions are not aligned to government vacancies at the moment. Well, definitely, we had financial challenges, but then there are also challenges of the structures, our structures in the government, whereby you can't just recruit. We recruit depending on our availability of vacancies and funds. Pentagon Kamsime, the MP for Butemba County in Changkwanzi District, who is also a member of the Health Committee in Parliament, says if the government does not absorb the health workers, communities like the one he represents will be gravely affected. And uh, it is a pity that we are at the verge of losing already trained health workers that are already serving within our health system. The need for health workers still remains alarmingly high here in Uganda with 71% of doctors and about 41% of nurses still working in urban centers. Now the workshop is aiming at shifting those numbers to the upcountry areas to be able to provide the necessary health care facilities for the larger population. And that's where the greatest challenge lies. Currently, government doctors earn about 1.5 million Ugandan shillings per month, while contract workers have been earning between 4 million and 10 million Ugandan shillings. If government came up with a, a budget supplementary proposal, then definitely would support that as members of the House Committee so that we can do something to empower our health system. We need these already trained and experienced people. Minister of Health documents obtained indicate that 642 health workers have been absorbed, while 1,965 health workers are not yet absorbed and 547 health workers have been left out. Uganda has for years been grappling with the issue of keeping its well-trained health workers from traveling abroad for better paying jobs. Because of government's inability to pay competitive wages, brain drain among the country's health workers is bound to continue, and the current failure to absorb the thousands of health workers into the workforce may just serve to heighten this issue. Andwari Nitwe, NTV, Kampala.